tarot and I'm going to be pulling your March energies to see what's coming your way. If you'd like to book a personal reading, my website is a touch of tarot. I also have a second source where I do readings from. It's called Wizio. The link is below. That's for really quick readings that um, are not too long of a wait, but they are quick. Okay, so let's see what's coming out for Aries. I'm just going to get five cards. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to see. There we go. And ooh, you will be using the top. Oh, wow, you have the lovers. Interesting. So Aries, what's coming in here for you? Okay, well, first of all, you're starting with a heartache, but you're ending with the lovers. You could have been in a situation that, you know, you thought was amazing. Um, so this is the thing. Somewhere you got hurt, okay? What I see happened is you had a beginning with someone and clearly it was almost over before it began is what I'm also getting. This person could have been involved with a family or like had a family that they weren't telling you about because I do see two different women's energy here okay and I will say I do feel that that situation is over for some of you this is a same-sex marriage and I'm not saying that just because we have the two men here together um but I'm just getting that like this very masculine type energy for both people so let's see there was sadness you're coming out of sadness and it will definitely heal I'm not sure why my fan is on sorry <laughs> I think I got up to turn that off and then I don't know I didn't turn it off or something it's so weird okay anyhow let's get back to this for Aries Aries this is what's going on and let's just keep it short because I feel we'll get further that way you had a heartbreaking situa situation um, you're letting go of the past, though. Whether you're going back to this person or not, you're letting go of the past. I do believe you're fully letting go, to be honest with you. I think you fully accepted the past. You're closing that chapter and moving forward in a new direction in love, right? Like, I do see love here. And the hermit energy, um, it could also be representing self-love. But we're going to clarify, right? I just, honestly, I kind of feel like someone left to go to a uh, same-sex marriage, Okay, or connection or com um, commitment. And like I said, if it's not a same-sex marriage, it's two very masculine people that are coming together is what I get. Um, I feel like someone had also had a kid in the past. So they were in, you know, a traditional situation somewhere along the line. Um, but now I just, I feel like this person was lying. We have the Seven of Swords. They, you know, didn't want to speak their personal truth. Um, they felt like their freedom would be taken away. Be aware of others' actions. So, yeah, they didn't trust what people would do to them. Um, it's interesting. Like, maybe this person met someone in the workplace or something where they, like, it talks about an embarrassing secret. And I'm not saying it, anyone should be embarrassed about that, but I feel like this person felt embarrassed about it. That could even be the situation that's heartbreaking, that someone was in a commitment, but they wanted to be somewhere else and they felt embarrassed about admitting that truth or, or speaking on that truth. They felt like they didn't belong is what I'm getting because everyone, you know, expected this other uh, accomplishment of this 10 of pentacles energy. I mean, what I see in the end is someone goes where they want to go, whether it's same sex or not. This person goes where they want to go and someone accepts and lets go. Um, knowing, you know, a bit of a self-sacrifice too. knowing love will come in, but this person needs to take care of themselves and not focus on what's happened. OK, the person that got left that possibly had the very long commitment, um, maybe even a kid with this person is the one that needs to let go and accept is what I get. And I get that they are, I get that they're not, you know, they have their back turned and everything. Actually, some of them may have already known this. Some of them may have already known this, that like this was happening or that this was going to end. Look, it doesn't want to go in. Oh my God. Anyhow. 
So three of swords. Let's clarify. Ten of pentacles. Seven of swords. Seven of pentacles. Yeah. Interesting. And the queen of cups. I just really want to take one, but whatever. We'll take them all here. And the two of wands. Bold and ambitious choices. That's what it says on there, by the way. We have the wand, the king of wands. I'll tell you why that's relevant after. Uh, the lovers. Let me just see the lovers. Okay. So, with the ace of wands clarifying the three of swords, I swear to you, I'm just getting this vibe, so I'm just going to say it instead of confusing my own self. I feel like this person is heartbroken over a man, okay? Whether it's a man or a woman, it's over a man. This is representing the D, okay? And that's what I'm getting here, okay? So with the long-term commitment, this is something, wow. This is something someone wanted to run away from. Um, once again, in the Knight of Swords, there's two people here fighting but what i'm getting more is that like almost someone met their match i know it's a bizarre message guys so with the seven of pentacles clarifying the seven of swords this is about someone worrying about uh their family's opinion or the things that they've already invested in you know if they found out whatever this lie was that they wanted to be somewhere else and it's interesting because i'm seeing the xx1 uh, XXI at the bottom of this card, which represents the world. So these cards actually, you know, it's the 10 of pentacles, but it will tell you what else it's related to, which is the world card. And it will also give you an archangel. Uh, so this would be archangel Jophiel and then the number, right? The 10 and the earth sign there. But this is about an ending this year because it's related to the world energy, which is 21. That's interesting. Okay, so as for this person who's totally letting go and accepting what's happening here, we have the 10 of wands and the justice. So either this person is saying, you know, they'll get their payback. I don't know. I don't feel like that energy from here. I think more this person is accepting this was either like karma or a karmic situation or a karmic lesson. And, you know, letting go of the past is really what I get, getting their emotions and their um just energy in general imbalance, okay? And for this ending ending energy, I'm telling you, someone went somewhere, whether it's a man or woman, but I'm just getting that wand energy again. It could be a very masculine feminine. It could also be someone bringing that wand in, making that offer to someone unexpectedly. Here we go. Here's the wand. You know what I mean? Come on, guys. It's just, it's what the cards are saying. I like it because I like a little different energy here. So what do we have with the lovers? I feel someone possibly, well, with the three of wands, someone wasn't making the time for something or to do something. And you know what? I feel like it bit them in the ass or it really, um, like fighting it became too much of a burden is what I get. Like, look at it. It had to come through the gate at some point. Um, it's a, it's ferocious too, whatever it is. I think at one point this person didn't have time for the other or was ignoring it or just kind of putting it on the side. And then this situation had to come through. It just did. It was eating this person up possibly. So yeah, they had to face the truth pretty much, get out of their bed this could be the person that got left as well with that energy that had to face the truth interesting okay so a card we'll get two cards you can decide which energy you are we have that orphan energy coming out again and we have an artist energy so what this is about, I do believe, is the person that gets left here in this situation. Um, it's about independence based on learning to go at it alone, conquering fear of survival. So someone's getting left with the orphan energy, um, but this is okay. I do feel it's like that Queen of Cups energy there, this female letting go of the past. 
and taking it as a karmic lesson. Um, but it's a good thing because this person is learning to survive on their own. They're learning it's okay. It's better to be alone than be in a fake relationship or in living a lie. Imagine you're with someone and they are into like the same sex, not you. You know what I mean? That is not something to stay in. It's not desirable. It's rude. Like they should be where they want to be. You should be with someone that loves you type of thing. If this is you that's uh, having to let this go. But yeah, it was a fear. You know what else I'm getting here is that the female here, like someone here who got left knew that this person didn't want to be there. You know, and this happens, guys. There's a lot of people that they don't speak their truth and they get married or they like, you know, they get with someone who's honestly not who they want and not who they would ever desire. And, you know, the female may have had the one that's getting left may have also had an idea that, no, this person doesn't want to be here. How do you not know? I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't know. Who knows? So artists, the other energy here, expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. I believe that this is the person that is this king of wands energy, this two of wands energy, this energy of uh, going and doing something different, not listening to what everyone thinks. Like, you know, artists, they don't, they don't do that 10 of pentacles stuff. You know, they're, they're not structured like that. They are creative or they do something unique or something unusual, right? And this person is seeing the symbols. Like they can't deny it anymore. The writing's on the wall. Maybe in the situation they were in, it was a little too square for them or something like that. They want color. They want excitement. And look at here, I'm seeing the three stars for the first time. I'm noticing that. And I do feel like, you know something didn't belong. I almost feel like the, the white and the green star, um, actually like the different, the difference is what was, um, attractive, but it can just be as well. The two green stars were a match. So it's interesting that message. Aries, thank you so much. I'm so glad and honored to do a reading like this. It's actually really nice and refreshing. Um, and so another message I just got, by the way, is, the person who's in this situation that they wanted to get out of, they wanted to go free themselves to be where they want to be. They were bullied is what I get. And I guess it could be as a child. And maybe that's why they suppressed their truth and uh, went in a direction that honestly wasn't honoring their truth. Um, so I get the message. They were bullied. Okay, guys. So that has a big effect on people, whether they want to admit it or not. I think now we know that more than ever with all the awareness. Bye for now. Thank you.